Hi, I'm Jonathan Hinshaw, and I am the founder and owner of Ebway Creative, and we're a website design development company, uh, and we also do internet marketing and SEO of all kinds. So this is a very cool post, because what, what I wanted to do was give you guys something that you could use to sell in a roundabout way. So basically, I did this whole thing on, on Google Hummingbird and I educated my clients on it, uh, put some public information out there and tried to, uh, in a very timely manner, right when the update was sort of uh, publicized, get out as one of the first people talking about it. And, and I think you still have that advantage now. You know, this probably for the next 60 days, this is what people are going to be talking about. Google Hummingbird and how it affects websites. So this is the slide deck that I gave to my clients and that I did in public, but there's some bonuses here that are just for you guys. So without further ado, let's take a look. If you didn't see the public post, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to go real quick through it because I don't want to spend time redoing my other podcast. Uh, I'm just going to go real quick over this and we'll get to the good stuff. But you need to understand and your customers need to understand that this is not a penguin algorithm update. This is not a panda update. This is an entirely new algorithm. This has never been done before. This is brand new. This is crazy. So the best analogy I could come up with was like an older car, you know? The car still runs great. Maybe it's like a 68 Camaro. It's been completely rebuilt. It's awesome. But rather than just adding more horsepower to the engine, you replace the engine getting today's fuel economy, getting today's reliability, getting today's uh, technology into that older car. And so that was kind of my analogy on what Google did. And it doesn't have to be a 68 Camaro. That's just a cool car. I educated them on what SEO was like in the past and how technical it was. I educated them on Google's timeline and the updates they've been doing. So I would encourage you Take an hour, sit down, go to Google, check out their timeline, look at the knowledge graph. Um, you know, look at how Google's been doing their updates and, and where they're headed in the future. This will make you a better web designer. It will make you a better internet marketer. And most of all, it will make you a better salesperson. So let me skip through a few slides here and get to the bonus slides. So we, we ended the original uh, post on focus on people, not keywords, right? And then we had some additional information we gave to our customers, but it didn't necessarily make it public. So that's the information that I want to give you guys now. Basically, if you watch my original post, I'm sure we'll have a link to it here. If you watch that video, that that's the webinar that we did for our customers. We did that webinar, and and then at the end we said now. Mr. Customer, here's what we want to do for you, right? Here's our offer. Here is the actions that we can take to take advantage of what's going on. So I encourage you guys to do this as well. We talked about what Hummingbird is, you know, just point blank. It's about sentences, relevant results. It even pulls background and supporting information. So it's not for just keywords. The, the whole we still need to use keywords, but it's not all about keywords, right? It's about long tail keywords and authority. And so we came to our customer base and said, look, we'd like to use more long tail keywords. We'd like to create more question and answer type content for you. We'd like to help you improve your authority on Google, get some author tags, get some followers, use some social signals to build your authority like clout and things of that nature. And this, of course, is a paid service, right? Now, I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, well, I'm not an SEO guy. I can't sell that. What you can sell is a mobile, dedicated mobile layout for their website. And this was a slide we used for those that maybe didn't want to opt for the whole you know, marketing plan or SEO plan. Well, what you can do, Mr. Customer, to take advantage of this um, you know, for probably a one-time fee that's not you know, very expensive is to let us do a mobile landing page for you since mobile search is coming into power. You know, analysts believe that these changes are heavily influenced by Google's desire to become more mobile. So 
as well as their mobile search engine pages, Google also owns Android, which even has its own voice search capabilities. Most of your customers don't know this. Hummingbird will have a direct impact on those who employ mobile-friendly landing pages or sites. So that is the pitch, right? We need to build you a mobile landing page. We educate them on voice search. You know, rather than searching for a one or two word phrase, people will be doing more question and answer type searches. Where is the nearest blah, blah, blah? How can I get to blah, blah, blah? Is there a blah, blah? You know, they're, they're going to be asking questions. So Hummingbird will determine the most relevant and highest quality pages that meet the needs of the searcher. So this is a content change. This is a focus change, right? There's got to be something in there that answers that question or they won't show up. Then we addressed the topic of SEO being dead. Of course, since we offer SEO to a lot of customers, we get that question a lot. You know, what about this article? It says SEO is dead, and, and do met, does metadata even work anymore, and blah, blah, blah. So we did talk about that topic during our webinar with our customers. Uh, we told them, you know, look, let's just continue to add high quality content. Let's integrate the content efforts into a social media platform, Google+, LinkedIn, Facebook. Let's take advantage of the social world and let's try to get people to distribute it and share it and like it and all that. But we're not going to do any black hat stuff. Um, and so we just educate them on the positives, right? Going forward, we did an example with them and we had them pull out their phones and said, look, do the voice-based search now. See how simple it is. Look, look how people are going to adopt this and use this. Put, I put my customers into their customers' shoes. So then I could ask them, what are they going to ask for? What, what questions do we need to answer so you guys show up for the people that are asking Google about your products or services, right? So you can do a demonstration. It's a great way to do it. In the end, I want you to take my logo off of this, rebrand this PowerPoint however you see fit, change the images, change the pictures, come up with your own examples, your, your own imagery, and use this as a launching point to touch base with your customers. Here's what I would recommend. There's lots of ways you could do it, but here's, I think, the best. You should have a webinar, invite everybody to it. It's a free webinar. You're going to educate them on search engine optimization, how to dominate your local market, you know, whatever. You're going to use terms like that. You're going to get a lot of your customers to show up. And at the very end, it's a by the way. By the way, did you know we do mobile landing pages? By the way, did you know we know somebody that does search engine optimization? And by the way, did you know blah, 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 blah. So that's how you need to pursue this. And we'll, we'll have some more content uh, in this article here. We'll have some links to some other things. So I encourage you to use this, get involved, get some traction with your customers, and use this to infuse some Christmas money into your company. Have a great day, guys, and thanks for listening. Bye-bye now.